All right, in this video, <clears throat> we're going to learn a little bit more about what is a fraction. Only this time we're going to talk about, like, where is one whole in relation to the fraction that we're given. So in this fraction, we've got the zero, we've got the three-sevenths, and here's a big old empty number line. And our task is to figure out, well, where is one whole? Where is one whole? whole on this number line. Okay, so the fraction itself gives us a hint. It says that it requires seven intervals to equal one whole. That's what this denominator means. And this three tells us that we are currently looking at three intervals or three parts out of the seven. So we're going to take this little section right here and we're going to cut it into three equal sized pieces. So that means here's one, two, three equal sized intervals. So that means each interval is about this big. How big is that? I don't know. It's about that big. That's how, how big each seventh is, or each piece of the, of the whole number is. So if we want to figure out where is one whole, we need four more of these pieces. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that makes this piece right here four sevenths, five sevenths, six sevenths, and seven sevenths. And of course, seven sevenths is equal to one whole. So right here is where one whole would be. All right. In a similar kind of question, let's say we've got a bunch of uh, dots. Okay, so this is called the set model. So let's say we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we've got eight dots. And we are told that this, these eight dots, is equal to, oh, let's say two fifths. And we want to know how many dots is one whole. So how many dots is equal to one whole? Well, this fraction gives us a hint as to what we're looking at. The five says we're supposed to have five equal sets or five equal parts to equal one whole. That's what the five means. The two means we are currently looking at two equal fractions, two equal parts. And we've got eight dots, so we can see that there's one, there's two. So there's our two equal sets. So it turns out that there's four dots in each set. So if we want to know how many dots are in one whole, that means we're going to have five equal parts to this whole. There's our five equal parts, and we have four dots in each set, or each part, each fraction, in each fifth. And that means altogether, there's going to be 20 dots in one whole, because here's one fifth, and there's four dots, another fifth, there's another four dots, another fifth, another fifth, and finally five fifths is equal to 20 dots.